works. Hello everyone, happy Saturday morning. I have about 15 minutes to talk to you before I have to get my son uh, this morning. And I, I was thinking about doing this yesterday, but I didn't get the chance. So this is my first live stream in forever here. I did one yesterday in the Hello. In the Escape Dive Prison Facebook group, but um, you know, I wanted to do one here too. And I was thinking about this concept of how we decide how much we're gonna eat on any given day when we're on a diet, when we live in diet land, when we live in um, the lifestyle of being thin, of having to have a certain body, of having to be a certain size, and of believing that it's for the best of our body, which um, it hardly ever is. Because in the end, when we decide that our body needs to look a certain way, we don't allow our bodies to be what they want to be and to be as healthy as they want to be. Because again, um, being thin does not equal being, being healthy at all. And so, but we live in, in a world where dieting is the norm. We live in a world where we need to count calories and macros and micros and protein and carbs and all of that stuff. And the more we, we focus on that, the more obviously it becomes our world. And so we have created this really ridiculous notion of needing to decide how much we're going to eat tomorrow, the next day, the day after this entire week, um, before the day has even started, before we're even in this moment of knowing what are we hungry for? How much does our body need today? Um, what does our body need in this moment? And we think that it is normal for our brain to tell us yesterday <laughs> evening what we need to eat this morning. So, you know, many of us create plans, we live on meal plans, we live on dieting plans, weight loss plans, it's super normal, right? We all have allergies and we all have um, some kind of, uh, you know, the foods that we can't eat and shouldn't eat and aren't allowed to eat and the morality of it, which is often just a way of shaming yourself and shaming others without really needing to. It's just a way of wanting to stay thin. But... Do you even, you know, think about how ridiculous it is for you to decide yesterday or having had decided yesterday what you need this morning? Do you know how hungry you're going to be? Do you know how hungry you'll be tonight? Or what you will need tonight? You have no idea what's going to happen today. You don't know how much you'll move, how little you'll move. Uh, maybe you'll be stressed. Maybe everything's going to be calm. Maybe you know, you'll be super happy and you need nourishment in that way. Or, you know, for us women, we're on a cycle and sometimes we need more, sometimes we need less, depending on what our body is going through. Our bodies are not machines. And we believe they are, right? We believe that we have this exact calorie amount we need every single day. So um, it's 2000 calories for men, 1600 for women, which is ridiculous in and of itself because nobody is the same. Not any single body is the same than, you know, other bodies. We don't consume the same stuff. We don't live in the same areas. We don't have the same rhythms. We don't have the same cycles. We don't have the same work. Everything is different. Some bodies metabolize better. Other people who are happy and who are content and who live their purpose metabolize food better. People who eat when they eat metabolize better. People who are, you know, very unhappy metabolized in other ways. So it's all different. It's all individual and it is all very, very vulnerable. It is not a system that you set up and then it works. And the more you worry about it, the more you focus on it, the more you obsess about it, the less you will actually ever be free and the less you will ever be able to allow your body to be the size your body wants to be. And again, being a normal eater, whatever that means, an intuitive eater, which is not a diet, um, and if you make it a diet, there's something wrong, but being a person who just eats, 
does not mean that your body will be thin. And nobody ever in the history of normal thinking people could ever have believed that being thin means being healthy. It's just the diet industry. It is the beauty industry. It is doctors who subscribe to that stuff. Studies that have been falsified, studies where the results have been beautified um, to, to serve a certain kind of industry. They tell you that this is the way it's, it, 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 it has to be. But again, being thin, having a certain weight does not equal being healthy, as well as being bigger does not equal being unhealthy. It, you can you know, have the worst lifestyle and be thin if your body is meant to be thin. And you can have a really wonderful lifestyle. Um, and I'm not talking about just food at all. There's so much more to health and your body is rounder and bigger and you are super healthy. And we still can't see it because there's so much money behind all of that. But I don't want to get into that. I want to get into the ridiculous notion that it is normal to decide today what you'll eat tomorrow. It is normal to decide tomorrow what you'll eat next Tuesday. It is normal to decide on a Sunday evening how much you will eat on any day during the week. Because some person once said that this is how much your body needs. That this is the calorie amount your body needs. Not taking into consideration your, your, your emotional hungers. Not taking into consideration any of your, your physical needs. Your body's physical needs. Because your body needs different things on any given day. Right? And your body can thrive on different things and different kinds of food, foods on any given day. And the moment you release the weight agenda, the moment you release the need to be thin, the need to have a certain weight, the need to have your body look a certain way, that is the moment when you can begin to live in tune with your body. That is the moment when you can begin to listen to your hunger. Because here's the thing, you can tell yourself, I need to eat 2,000 calories tomorrow. And you may need 3,000. And the next day you may need 1,000 or 1,500 or whatever. And don't ever count calories because it's bullshit. It is bullshit because calories are not metabolized and, and broken down in your, your stomach the way we're making it seem. It's a concept that is based on false and simplified information because the body does not work that way. Calories are being broken down in the stomach line in completely different ways than the way we make it out to be in the mathematical way we make it out to be. It is just a way of torturing ourselves. It is just a way of us making ourselves be in pain. Judging ourselves, hurting ourselves, beating ourselves up for having a body that has appetite, for having a body that needs food, for having a body that does not run on air and water. Which, if you take it, if you take the entire dieting industry, is what the dieting industry wants. Right? It basically... Oh no, they don't want that because they want you to buy their product. So okay, strike that. That's not the truth. They want you to buy this protein uh, bar and that substitute and that supplement and, and those kinds of pills and all that. So, but if you release the weight agenda, you will begin to tune in. And you will forget about calories, you will forget about macros, you will just realize today I need meat, protein. And it's not going to be like, I need protein, but you will just know that this is what you crave and you will listen to your cravings. And then you may need a salad and you may crave ice cream and you may crave apples or whatever, right? But it's, it will be different every day or it may not. And you will eat the same thing every day, but it won't be stressful and it won't be painful and it won't be shameful and you will not feel the guilt that you feel. Because when you decide what you'll eat, when you have decided what you'll eat yesterday, what you're going to eat today, 
and today you crave something different or more. There is nothing more than you will, sh you will just shame yourself. Because maybe you said today I'm going to have a salad, but then you're so hungry and a salad just doesn't do it. What do you do? You feel like a failure. You feel bad. You feel horrendous. You, you beat yourself up. You tell yourself, you know, you just don't have what it takes. You have no willpower. You are a bad human being. Why can't you be like everyone else? But if you just not decide what you'll eat, if you don't make that plan, there won't be any wagon to fall off on off you won't have that need to shame yourself and to hate on yourself and to beat yourself up because there's not going to be anything that you did wrong you just listen to your body and there's nothing wrong about listening to your body there's nothing wrong about listening to your appetite and in fact your appetite is essential to life your appetite is essential to what you need to survive and it's brought you all the way. And it's brought you all the way up until this point. Um, and then the dieting industry decided that what has brought you is not all right. It's not okay and it should be changed. Um, which is bullshit. It's just bullshit. So, you know, listen to your appetite. When you think about food and can't stop thinking about food, that is your body's way of telling you you are hungry. Or, it means that you that you live in diet prison, that you're so caught in diet prison that you don't even have a life outside of food and not eating. But if you just live your life and you eat, there's nothing to be ashamed of or nothing to feel guilty of. So release the weight agenda, release the need to decide what you eat before you're gonna eat. If you will hurt yourself every single time, you will just hurt yourself. And Deb always says in the podcast that she never had the perfect diet day. So even, you know, she, every day she decided, I'm just going to eat that much or that little. And she messed up in some way every time because her body needed something different. And you put a lot of pressure on yourself and on your body when you decide you can only eat that little, right? That's all you're going to think about. And you're all, all you're going to think about is the food. So when you don't decide that this is how little you can eat, you don't have the pressure, you don't have the need, and you will just live. Um, and you won't need to have that perfect dieting day. <laughs> I've never had a perfect dieting day. Even when I was eating disorder, I always messed up because my body was always hungry and I always needed to have more than I allowed myself to have. So this is something I just had to get out there because it is um, something we all do. And especially when you live in that kind of have diet land between not really being on a diet all of your life and being on a diet. Um, there was a conversation I had the other, the other week with someone who, who, you know, who told me about her diets. Every time I see her, she tells me about her diets. And I don't want to know, I don't care how much weight she lost because she always keeps on losing weight and then gains it back and keeps on losing it. And every time she's so proud that she's lost the weight, not realizing that she's going to gain it back and more because that's how, how bodies work. If you starve them, they're going to take their, their food back, their, that, their weight back. That's what they need to do. And so because I'm an anti-diet coach and because I do this work, she tells me about her diets and I'm like, please, I don't want to hear anything about your diets. I don't care. I do not want to hear anything about your diets. And she says, well, I'm not on a diet. I'm not on a diet. I just exclude this kind of food and that kind of food and this kind of food and that kind of food. And I'm like, that is a diet, right? That is a diet. Don't kid yourself. Don't fool yourself. Don't pretend you're not on a diet when really you're on a diet. And when all you can think of is weighing yourself every morning losing weight, weighing yourself every morning, losing weight. It's bullshit. It's just bullshit. So if you have decided what you're going to eat today, even before the day started and you have tuned into your body and you have sat down to eat, think again, release the agenda and just eat and be with yourself while you eat, right? Be in this moment, be there. Have fun and enjoy yourself.
Much love. I'm going to have to pick up my son. And um, if you want to join the Escape Diet Prison Facebook group, go do that. If you want to have a free one-on-one -on -one consulting, go over to anasofi.us forward slash free hyphen session. And you can have a 20-minute session with me. And we'll talk about that. And we'll see how you can release your weight agenda and can actually be free from diet prison. I love you and I wish you a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.